Captain Zero. Captain Zero. Research explorer in time and space. Uncharted region of the planet called Earth stands the laboratory of Captain Zero. In this secret location, known only to a few in the outside world, Captain Zero and his associates experiment in time and space to learn from the past, to plan for the future. Contact has been established. We now transmit you direct to the laboratory of Captain Zero. Please stand by. Earth calling the moon. Earth calling the moon. Come in, moon. Over. Earth calling the moon. Earth calling the moon. Come in, moon. Over. Earth calling the moon. Earth calling the moon. Come in, moon. Over. Earth calling the moon. Earth calling the moon. Come in, moon. Over. You might as well answer. We know you're there. Jeff. Oh, uh, hi, Captain. What's going on? You know as well as I do there's no one on the moon. Well, I, I know, but I just wanted to make sure. What's this all about, Jeff? Why are you so concerned about someone being on the moon? Well, I was just sitting here thinking, Captain. Suppose someone established a base on the moon without our knowing it. Well? Well, he'd be in a position to conquer the whole world with no trouble at all. Relax. You sound like a science fiction story. No one's going to conquer the world. But people have tried it in the past, Captain. And some of them have almost succeeded. And now with guided missiles Jeff, and... no one has actually come close to conquering the world since the days of Genghis Khan. Well, maybe, but... Genghis Khan? Who is he? The Mongolian, who started his career of conquest at the early age of 14. Became a great leader, but was most ruthless and cruel. Also very superstitious. He never planned a battle without first checking with his god and the stars. Criminy! What a way to plan a battle. He did all right, at least until he got into northern China. What happened there? I don't know exactly. Something about an evil omen. At any rate, Genghis suddenly decided to leave China. And a few weeks later, he died. Died? That's right. Well, what, what, what happened? According to the legend, his gods turned against him. Gods? That's what it says. Well, yes, but what really happened? I don't know, Jet. Maybe someday we'll find out. Why not find out right now? Okay. Stand by to activate the time machine. Yes, sir. What year? The year of the mouse. The year of the mouse? That's the Chinese name for our year, 1227. Oh. May the 29th. I'll set the location. You bring up the voltage to 400,000. Stand by to activate the cycle reactor. Yes, sir. Petro. Yes, sir. Stand by for operation of the time machine. Yes, sir. Electro generators, 8.713. Kleistron output, 4.991. Set the trilatron at 12.886. Right. Ready, Jet? Ready, sir. Ready in the electric chamber? Ready, sir. Stand by for signal. <laughs> Activate the cycle reactor. Good. We're cracking the fourth dimension. Time. 1900. 1800. 17. 16. Steady, 15, 1400, 1300, stand by. 
1227. Cut the second reactor and lock it. Lower the power, Tetro. Did we make it, sir? We're projecting back into the year 1227 right now. Set the sound wave segregator and patch into the time machine audio. Then we'll see if we can pick up Genghis Khan. Yes, sir. All set, Captain. Good. Stand by to activate the view screen. Where was Genghis at this time, Captain? In northwestern China, with temporary headquarters and a village temple. Refocus inside. Jet, set the language translator to ancient Mongolian. Yes, sir. Napae man oato, but the omens are good. The gods of thunder favor me. Soon, all the earth will be mine. No longer am I a miserable nomad youth riding through the bloody sands of the desert and across the great steppes banding together my people. Now all Mongols pay allegiance to me. All of Tartary is in my power and soon I will have all of China. The gods have been good. And by the will of the gods, I shall conquer the world. John. You have learned something? Yes, I listen from Secret Passage. He talks with his Mongolian gods. He intends to conquer all of China. No, we have seen nothing but evil since he broke through the Great Wall. Six years of plundering, then the fall of Yang King. Now the King of Tangut is defeated with 300,000 slain in the field of battle and with his many more slaughtered in their homes. If Genghis Khan conquers all of China. Our ancient culture will be lost. I know. But there is no longer an army in China strong enough to stop him. He fights on wings of victory. But perhaps, perhaps I can clip those wings. You? I am a high priest of temple. He allows me to attend him. I will attend this Mongolian dog tonight for last time. What will you do? The ancient gods of temple will decide. And if they do not, then I will. Go prepare idol and await my signal. I go. May the wisdom of our ancestors go with him. The gods of my clan smile on me. Even the stars above arrange themselves in my favor. The omens are good. All peoples of the world will bow their heads to Genghis Khan, or they will have no heads to bow. Your leaders await your pleasure, great Khan. Let them enter.
be seated. What is your wish, great Khan? I have called you together to tell you of my plans. All Mongols are now united under my banner and all Tartars. Most of China is already ours. And now we will go on to conquer it all. But what of the armies of the North? Have no fear. They will fall before us as the others have fallen. Nothing can stop us now. The gods of our clan are with us. Our destiny is written in the stars. All the world will pay tribute to the Mongols. Your armies are with you, great Khan. It is well, for on the morrow, we march to glory and to victory. Go, ready the men. Send in the Ancient One. You will prepare my bed. Here. Here in temple itself? My wish is your command. Have you you're not already defiled China enough that you would sleep in sacred chamber? I sleep where I choose. May the god of temple shower his wrath on you. <laughs> All the gods of China are worth nothing to the gods of the Mongols. Genghis Khan, you have already conquered most of China. Can you not make peace with rest? Make peace? Listen to me, ancient one. I once sent 72 ambassadors laden with treasure to Muhammad and Khwarezm Shah for the purpose of making peace with Persia. My ambassadors were murdered and the treasure stolen. But I have since made peace. All is tranquil in Turkestan now. The cities of Bukhara and Samarkand are nothing but scattered mounds of bones and rubble. I have heard of your conquests. And on the morrow, you will hear more. Now, prepare my bed, or must I have one of the guards dispose of you? You will never conquer the Chinese. No? Who is to stop me? The gods of China. Take your armies and return whence you came, Genghis Khan, before it is too late. Already the heavens of China frown on you. I fear not your gods or your heavens. Now be gone, ancient one, while you still have your head. This head is old, Genghis Khan, and worth little. I advise you, heed my warning. You dare to tell me what to do? When whole nations have failed, be gone! Shall I dispose of him? No, he is harmless. But be sure the doorway is well guarded this night. I must rest well for the morrow. You will stand guard in here. You will sleep this night with that? Tis but the god of this Chinese temple. I sleep here to prove to all of China that Genghis Khan fears no gods but his own. You may leave me till I call. Yes, great Khan. And the gods of my clan smile on me.
You are nothing but a smoking pot of clay. I will have all of China. And I defy you to stop me. <laughs> it is true. The master fears no god but his own. And the gods of the Mongols smile on us. Soon, all the world will be ours. You have heard? I heard. He laughs at the god of the temple. I fear all of China is doomed. He will not laugh long. I will hide in secret passage until he sleeps. But the gods... Those outside will hear nothing. One inside will also hear nothing. And if you are caught? I have lived long. I am old. My ancestors await me. one, you would do what your gods cannot do. Guards! Guards! Yes, master. This one tried to kill me. Wait! Put him on the altar. We will sacrifice him to his own gods. Jet. Yes, sir? Get your helmet and hop into the materialization chamber. Yes, sir. You're going to become the voice of that idol. I'm going to materialize you inside. But, but what will I say? Anything. Just get going. Yes, sir. Stand by to materialize. There it goes. Gone. Now you will learn what happens to those who would stand in my way. But you will not have long to contemplate it. Your toe will contemplate Genghis Khan after it is too late. Strike off his head. Stop! Who dares to stop Genghis Khan? The god of the temple. You will leave this temple at once, Genghis Khan, or I shall bring down the heavens upon you. At once. <coughs> at once. <coughs> so, the spirit of the temple does cough on his own smoke. <coughs> Stand back, <coughs> Genghis Khan. Stand back.
come out, ancient one, or I'll cut you and your idol to bits. Captain Zero! Spectre rays condensed are opening. Curve board activity is increasing. Voltage is building up. Spark gaps are closing. It's transforming from electrical impulses and beginning to materialize. Coming in. He's in. Jack, are you all right? Yes, sir, but what's happening now? Stand by, we'll find out. Man, you got me out of that idol just in time. <laughs> now, speak again, if you can. <laughs> For this, I shall burn to the ground every temple in China and every priest who tends them. While yet the gods of my clan smile on me, I can do no wrong. Every village in China will feel the wrath of Genghis Khan. Guards! 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 If you would see who will be master of China. The God of the Temple. Genghis Khan fears no gods but his own. And while they yet smile on me, I shall... They have... Turn their faces from me. No longer do they smile. Tis an evil omen and bodes ill for Genghis Khan. I must leave China at once. The gods of my clan have turned against me. Man, he was a real tough character, wasn't he? He lived in a time and place where life was cheap, Jet. He trusted no one and allowed no one to stand in his way. But he was a great military leader with high qualities of statesmanship. Don't forget, Genghis Khan united a vast empire of warring Mongols and Tartars and came pretty close to conquering the entire known world. when we again transmit you to this remote location on the planet Earth, where Captain Zero and his associates will conduct another experiment in time and space.